Well, welcome to this week's Degrees of Science. We've got a really cool event going on in advance of the April 8th total solar eclipse in the city of Waco. Region 12 is going to have a uh, event called Steam Clips. And we've got Andy Parr with us today to talk about this really fun event. So I guess just first of all, what is Steam Clips? What is that event about? Sure, um, Steam Clips is going to be a great day. It is, like you said, April 6th, the Saturday before the total eclipse. And we're at the Waco Convention Center. And that day, it is a huge celebration festival of all things STEM. And so again, when we think of STEM, we're talking about solve, think, experience, and make. So it covers all areas, and it's that intentional, purposeful problem solving. And so we're gonna have interactive booths. Every booth you walk up to is gonna have some sort of interactive component. Everything from big entities, like you're coming, <laughs> so glad. And so you'll be there and having, what does this mean from a newscaster and from the weather component? And uh, we'll have uh, NASA will be there and we'll have Lowell Observatory there. And so uh, we have a group coming internationally that's coming and an astronomy group that's coming internationally that will be over for the day. And then we also have local businesses, uh, small businesses. And so again, that whole idea of it could be a business of one person to a national entity, we'll have schools there um, showcasing what they're doing in their schools with robotics. And so we'll have all of that, we'll have talks we have lots of amazing talks during the day, so you learn more about not just eclipses, but STEM in and of itself, and what does that look like? And then we're all gonna, again, even more, we have performances, and so we have bands and choirs and theater groups doing um, shows uh, throughout the whole event, again, throughout the day. The only bad thing is I signed up to work at it. Now you're talking about all this fun stuff, and I've got to sit at my booth and I, no, it's We'll give you a break. Make sure you get around <laughs> and get to see everything. Did, did you ever think that an eclipse would bring this much attention to Waco and this kind of a, a cool event to be able to host in advance of it? I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it. It is, it is amazing because, again, we haven't had a total eclipse come through this area in over 200 years. And so to say that this is a big event, it, it truly is a once in a lifetime. So to have all these people come coming and who are already just here to engage with all is just such a phenomenal opportunity. And is this event that's more geared toward kids or you think it's everybody can come and learn about it? You will have something for everybody there. Um, Another aspect we have is a makerspace. And so we're gonna have a makerspace there where people can come in and engage in either two, one of two design challenges. So we'll have a design challenge for older kids or adults. <laughs> adults either we're way. All kids we're all kids anyways. Or we'll have something um, for some of our younger kids, but they'll have, all have something they can take home with them of their creation looking at that orbital. It's like a Comic-Con for math and science. It is, kind of it yeah. is, it and, is, and, and the arts. And this is gonna, this is, I mean, we're hoping a lot of Central Texas people will come, but like I said, this is a national event that people are coming to Waco, so how fun is it to kind of open up the doors to Waco to people coming from other places? Yes, the city of Waco has just brilliant in that idea of, yes, we have the, the day of event, <laughs> that eclipse over Texas, and yet we have, they have a whole weekend plan, and Steam Clips is one component of the whole weekend, um, and it's gonna it's gonna be great. And we we didn't mention one thing. It's a free event, right? It is free. There is no cost to attend. Again, there'll be lots of booths and people and connections to make and things to learn. And just come on down to the convention center. There'll be games outside, food trucks outside, and it truly is a, a festival. And you said so. You've got people from NASA that are coming. So that, yes. then they're going to be talking about the eclipse and that kind of stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so they'll be there. They'll have both booths and um, talks. Mm -hmm. And so they'll have talks from lots of different perspectives. Um, we have again a different um, astronomy club a group that's coming. That um, so they'll have telescopes and how do we um, photograph things. Um, we'll have high school students that are coming bringing their culinary arts where you'll interact with frosting and how you can get that and you can get your own commemorative decorative cookie, eclipse themed <laughs> cookies. Um, and even so, small businesses of crocheting plushies. That's STEM, that's creating, that's building, that's making. And so um, just a whole cross section. So it's involved. kind of cool because it's, you know, you may have kids that aren't particularly, say, science leaning, but I don't think a lot of people know that the whole STEAM, STEM kind of area branches out to so much stuff. So we use an eclipse 
to open that door to a whole lot more learning. Absolutely, absolutely. So this day truly is, it does, I call it STEM with an eclipse lens. Mm -hmm. So we will be, have things for the eclipse, but really just like you said, it's truly for um, STEM and that intentional problem solving. Um, Cultivate 712 will be there from downtown Waco. And so really, what does STEM have to do with art? Mm -hmm. And so we'll look at it from that perspective. Yep. And they will be something for all ages and all groups. That is really cool. Yeah, we're, we're on our team here. We've been working on a few little experiments and hands-on stuff for kids. So ours will be mainly weather-driven. We're trying to have some fun Eclipse stuff. But yeah, it, it's like I said, I, I think even in like our career, I think people just don't realize that they may have an interest in a particular science, don't know that there's careers out there that they could follow that passion that they have. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so we'll have those discussions as we have um, universities and colleges that will be there as well and saying this is what it can look like from our itty bitties up through our um, post high school students. So are, are you like me that knew a little bit about eclipses, but I'm guessing you've learned a ton. I've learned a prep. lot, I've learned <laughs> a lot because I, I didn't know as much as yeah. I do now. Yeah, it's really, really excited about it. So remind folks, kind of the, the time frame, what day and the hours that this event's going on and where. Sure, so this is April 6th, that Saturday before the total eclipse on Monday the 8th. We're at the Waco Convention Center in downtown Waco from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. And it's come and go. Like I said, there'll be scheduled talks throughout the day and scheduled performances. Otherwise, it's come and go throughout the day. Oh, it sounds like you got enough to keep the family entertained for a while. So Absolutely. That's, that's really cool. So yeah, yeah, uh, steam clips going on. Um, you know, for Region 12, how, how has it been kind of this whole gearing up and getting the kids educated and teaching the teachers to teach the kids about this Eclipse stuff? So we have a lot of great things that are, so we're helping support our teachers and our community as they prepare. Some schools are going to be in class, some schools are not. And then what, um, how can we equip our students to gather data and learn more about it? And so if you go to our website at esc12.net, slash STEM. There is an Eclipse tab with all sorts of resources, professional development, um, links for other areas that you can connect with and uh, for our families and our um, schools to help better prepare our kids. Uh, gonna, like I said, when y'all told us about the event, we were 100%. Let's, let's go be a part of this. So I think it's going to be fun, like I said, to extend out what's going to be a major weekend in Central Texas. And I know some folks may be like, I don't want to go downtown when it's busy, but I think we got plenty of room Saturday. It may be a little wild on Monday with all the people, but I think a great opportunity to expand that knowledge base for the kids. Absolutely, there's parking everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's all free. You can park anywhere downtown and walk on over and there's going to be a great opportunity. Yeah, and then there's concerts at night. It's going to be a full big weekend in Waco. It is, yeah. and if you're doing the fun run, the 5K run that evening, packet pickup is going to be at steam clips so come on by check out the event pick up your race packet and then go to the race that yeah, evening as that's, well that's awesome so steam clips going on the saturday before the eclipse downtown waco thank you andy for talking with us it's gonna be a fun event we're glad to be a part of it and hope we have a ton of people show up thank you so much i appreciate it